Hey guys, what's up? I'm Double X here for another episode of Double X Reactions. And oh boy, my heart is pounding. We today have an awesome death battle to react to. We have Roronor Zoro from One Piece and Urza Scarlet from Fairy Tail. I'm very excited. I got my Monkey D. Luffy straw hat here. I'm wearing my Natsu Lightning Fang Dragon shirt. And I am just on edge because we only have five minutes or so left for this video and both I've seen all of the stats from both sides and you know I do have a personal fixation with fairy tale for those who know me or have watched some of my other videos. So I am on Urza's side but I'm also a little bit rooting for Zoro too because yeah, it's a pretty big matchup with these huge armory and only three swords and these different ho hockeys. And yeah, I'm just really excited. I mean, like, whoever wins, I'll be excited for because I know there's going to be some explosive uh, sword fighting. I can just feel it. <sighs> okay, moment of truth. Let us watch. Oh. oh, sorry, lady. Could you point me in the way of the shipyard? I've been looking around for hours. Of course you have. Oh, he's wanted. <laughs> uh -huh. You're the one I'm looking for. Come peacefully and you won't be harmed. Sorry, I'm busy. Maybe later. Then we'll have to do this the hard way. I told you, I'm busy. Oh, here we go. Oh. Well, I guess we're doing this now. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Oh. There goes that house. Oh, Blackwing. You're coming with me. Oh. Oh, damn. Right through that. Another building. Any trick. Oh. And now Flame Empress armor. Oh. He's on fire. <laughs> Ooh, that was it. Oh, and a magic armor. One of our toughest. There we go. Woo! Oh. And a giant armor. Uh oh, watch out! Woo! Oh, one pound cannon. That's that. Yeah, that building place. <sighs> Fool. Nothing is worse than the loss of life. Uh, don't start crying, woman. What? So much for all that strength bullshit, huh? Oh. No. I can do this. All right, heaven's wheel. Holy hell! Oh, nine sword style. Oh, Jesus! You're not the only one who fights with her friends! Oh, Jesus! Oh! Oh! Projectiles flying over 500 miles per hour, but Zoro can move faster than the eye could see. U.S. Air Force tests have shown that a well-trained human eye can consistently spot and recognize an image in one 220th of a second. So, in this case, Zoro would have had to move from point A to point B, which is about 57 feet, in 4.5 milliseconds. That's close to 9,000 miles per hour. That's more than five times faster than a bullet. Urza didn't really rely on speed anyway, and there's no evidence any of her armor magic could have helped close that wide of a gap. Speaking of her armor, Urza did have more options in defense and weaponry. Unfortunately for her, she was simply outclassed in damage dealt. 
Urza could withstand hits of about two kilotons, like the blast which destroyed that island. But Zoro has dished out much stronger blows than that. Slicing Pika in half, for example, was equivalent to 11.5 megatons. That's about 6,000 times bigger than anything Urza has survived. And while Urza's artificial eye may have seen through Zoro's Nine Sword style illusion, it couldn't prevent him from actually attacking her. She also had that habit of stripping down to clear heart clothing in a bind. Yeah, it gave her more sword power, but at the cost of less defense. This sounded like a good idea on paper, but close range combat was Zoro's bread and butter. Urza was mostly self taught, and while proficient with a blade, Zoro has trained with swords all his life. Even with the greatest swordsman in the world, an up-close duel was exactly what he was looking for. Yes, you won't be getting a fairy tale ending. The winner. Oh, that was just movie. bad. That was just a bad pun. Next time on Death Battle. Next time? Really? This is not the last one this year? Nobody can break Death Battle. Except for one man. Deadpool again? Deadpool again? What? Uh, well, I have to admit, th that was still a good fight. I mean, yeah, I kind of bummed that Urza lost, but you know what? Zora's a badass too, and it was a very close fight. Though I think they're a little bit iffy on the whole details and what they can withstand. I mean, Urza did withstand as much pain as Zoro did with uh, that Akuma guy, even more so, in fact, when she was fighting Tartaros. Like how she was fire fighting uh, Kyoka, who can increase the sensitivity of her pain a thousandfold. And she was enduring that type of, uh, of torture and stuff like that, even blinded her at one point. But she still beat Kyoka anyway. I, I think sometimes they're a little bit iffy on the whole... Um, stats and whatnot, but either way, you know, it was still a great fight, you know? Can't really complain. It was like, ooh, sliced in half, that's a rough one. But, yeah, I think it was pretty fair that these two are, I would say, still closely matched. I wouldn't get too involved in the whole statistics. Still, Urza's awesome, Zoro's awesome. This was an awesome fight. Well, thanks again for watching. As always, I'm Double X, and I will see you next time.